Hey basketball players, today I'm going to be talking to you about how much vertical you actually need to be able to dunk a basketball. Obviously this varies depending on your height, but I'm going to get really, I guess, scientific with you guys. So let's get down and let's check out how much vertical you need to dunk a basketball. So what I really want you to do right now is to go and get either a parent or a friend or whoever to hold up a measuring tape. And what I want you to do is to stand straight up have your dominant hand up in the air as well as straight as you can get it and see where your wrist really is and then deduct that so for example if you are six feet tall even the rim is ten feet tall now technically some people will say that you would need to have a four foot vertical which is a lie you do not need a four foot vertical if you reach up, you could be reaching up to about, I am going to assume at a very minimum, a 7 foot reach at the very minimum. Of course, everyone has a different wingspan. This could be 6 foot 8, this could be 7 foot 4, it could be anything. So now you are 7 foot when it comes to your reach, your standing reach. and. The rim itself is 10 feet high, which would be then at this point, you would need a 3 foot vertical. And when that comes down to inches, that is a 36 inch vert. Now, that is huge to say that you need to have a 36 inch vert. Now, of course, everyone's wingspan is a bit different. Mine, my standing reach is about 7 foot one seven foot two in that range but we also need to take into account that that is to your fingertips to dunk a basketball you need to have that basketball clear over the rim some people will say oh you need your elbow to be at the rim yeah if you if you want to dunk like Vince Carter you need to have that elbow to the rim but not everyone's going to be able to jump that high and believe me it's not that easy at the time where I could actually dunk a basketball the rim usually hit roughly around the same distance as we have here which is Cade Cunningham who may be the future first round pick in the NBA now from there what you need is to be able to clear the rim so generally speaking you need to have at a very minimum your wrist being rim height your wrist at roughly 10 feet high and if we say that your hand is six inches and you need a 36 inch vert to be able to touch the rim that now means that you need a 42 inch vert to be able to dunk a basketball so to be able to dunk to jump up that high what we see here with Cade Cunningham is no stutter steps when he's going towards the rim and let's really break down the muscles that he is using so of course his last step he flat foots it now to be honest it would be a little bit better if he actually took a big step like that but tried to really have that foot more underneath of him but that's not always the case and then when he transfers that power he's using his calf muscle which is what we see here we do see that flex and then we don't see much of his back doing much at all and he could actually maybe get maybe a one percent increase in power if he uses a little bit more of his back and hunches over to go up but again this is a high school player who is very, very good. The other thing we see is his shoulders. That's the momentum muscles that bring you up. And then he's able to throw it down. Now, the, at the highest peak he was at was right here. And I can tell you right now, that is roughly about an inch, maybe two inches above the rim when it comes to his wrist. Not his fingers, but his wrist. And then he's able to slam it down. Wrist hits the rim first, and then he's able to finish off the dunk by uh, bopping that guy in the head who tried to block him. And that is how you can dunk a basketball. Really quickly, make sure to check out my vertical jump training book down in the description below. That's got a lot of workouts, especially pool workouts that I know will help you as a player who is looking to dunk. Now, I'm going to give you a quick tip that I give every single player. If you are getting the rim somewhere on your hand, it doesn't matter where, 
You could be getting the rim right on the tips of your fingers. It does not matter. What I want you to do every single day, having one to two days off per week, is to get a tennis ball, go to an actual 10 foot rim, and then dunk that tennis ball three sets of 12 or 10, whatever you feel comfortable. If you can get up to 15, three sets of 15, even do that. And do that every single day and take a day to two days off every week. And then from there, within a month, you will probably be dunking. That is all it takes. <laughs> so make sure to go and try that. It's worked on tons and tons of players who I have trained. And I have uh, even got comments back from other videos where I mention this. And people do it and it works. So if you can touch the rim, go get a tennis ball, dunk at three sets of 10 to 20, and you're all set. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next time.